A few days ago, after a video went viral of a worker in a healthcare system was back and forth, going back and forth with a young black male about a bike. We reported on it, there is an update. Now I wanna provide proper context to this update. Let me remind you of the video, here it is. Help, help me, please help me, please help me, please help me, please help me, help me, please get off me. It's his, it's his, it's his. That's his fake crying. Stop fake crying. Hey, stop touching me. I don't touch you. Hold up, hold up. Hey, stop touching me. Stop touching me. The hospital released a statement. They did put her on leave. The video was viewed more than 35 million times. The attorney is now saying the entire narrative was taken out of context. Let me provide to you the update and I will opine as well. So there's a new twist, should we say, in the viral city bike confrontation. That saw a New York City healthcare worker get into a heated argument with a group of young black men. Her lawyer said she did in fact pay for the bike and has the receipts to prove it. The 90 second clip, which has been viewed more than 35 million times uh, since it was posted on May 13th, shows this healthcare worker, uh, Sarah Comrie, straddling the two wheeler as she argues with a man right next to her, claiming it's his. Help me, she says. Please help me, she yells. She can be heard shouting loudly as the video starts. So while many blasted the hospital and blasted the hospital worker for potentially putting the young man's safety at risk, her lawyer said Thursday that the entire incident is being taken out of context and his client is being bombarded with threats. Every part of that story is incorrect, he said. Starting with my client is not a racist. Two, my client did not take anyone else's bike, said lawyer Justin Marino. He pointed to receipts Ms. Comrie provided that NBC New York examined. They show a rental for a bike 560-3915, which lasted just one minute. Freezing the now viral video, it shows that the code on the bike she and the other man are feuding about says 560-3915. NBC New York did reach out to City Bike to confirm the rental. Um, And they would do this to make sure it's not some kind of phony receipt. And if anyone else reserved it around that time to see if there's possibly a good faith basis for both arguments. But the company did not respond immediately. The attorney said it's not possible for someone else to have a reservation for that same bike. Saying Comrie's receipt confirms the bike she was on was rented by her. The video ends with Ms. Comrie getting on another bike, which her lawyer has a receipt for as well, proving she rode that one home. The men in the video have not yet been identified. I do encourage them to be transparent about their particular point of view. The NYPD reiterated Thursday, there were no 911 calls. There was there was no report of any incident. And if anyone believes they were in fact a victim, they should come forward to local authorities. So let me contextualize this properly. Okay, Uh, naturally we reported on a viral video as the facts were presented at that time. By the time we reported on this video, well, there was no actual statement yet from the other side. The hospital had a statement at that time and they were troubled by what they saw as well, so were we. Now, if, if this is true, which confirmation is still pending, still trying to find the individuals who are part of this narrative on the other side. If it is true, it does prove in my opinion, that Ms. Comrie had a good faith belief that she in fact had a right to the bike. But that doesn't mean the young men did not. It doesn't mean they did not have a good faith belief that the bike was not hers. That part of the story is important too. 
yelling, help me, help me. When there's a conflict over a bicycle um, in the middle of the street and there's a young black male next to you, that could be a very dangerous situation for something that's basically a civil dispute. So while I will absolutely continue to update the story as the facts prevail, I will say there's a wisdom to being civil in all cases. To those who have been, um, let's say, threatening uh, to this young lady, I would never condone that under no circumstance at all. Physical violence is not your answer whatsoever. Any gains you make because of physical violence are not sustainable. Only the gains you make through righteous actions are. To the young men who are involved in this now very national narrative, according to the last report, they cannot be identified. Naturally, we know somebody knows who they are and they know who they are. If you feel as if it is necessary in order to place your side on the table and you are authentic about your belief that this was your bike, speak up. And to the company, the company, well, listen, uh, at some point, naturally, you gotta provide the goods. The attorney is going on national news. He's saying that these confirmations are there. News outlets are reaching out. We do expect a full update as far as what actually transpired. And lastly, as I said before, her good faith belief does not negate their good faith belief that they were in the right too. All right, wise thoughts here. You know, this is a story that's near and dear to me as a native New Yorker. Uh, I try to tell people that there's a level of discernment that, that kind of comes with being a New Yorker, right? Mm -hmm. uh, you are interacting <laughs> and dealing with so many people every single day. You need to learn um, who's who and what's what. I think that's why there was such a viral nature of the Jordan Neely situation on the train where that young man was killed for basically no reason. Uh, most New Yorkers can understand when somebody poses an actual threat and somebody who's just being loud, uh, this lady, you know, being in the middle of the street, a crowded street, um, and saying, oh my God, help me. Nobody's falling for that. <laughs> you know what I mean? For the most part, nobody's falling for that. So I'm glad everybody was able to get out of this unscathed because, yes, there is a certain level of, you know, this could escalate quite quickly. But I think most New Yorkers take a pride in understanding um, the difference between your physical safety being at risk and yeah. you know people disputing over a goddamn city bike. Yeah, I mean, if somebody, hell, if I was walking by, my first inclination would have been, is she getting robbed? What's going on, <laughs> right? That would have been my first thought, like what's happening over here? 